The next section of this training is where to tell your story. You're experts at doing it in person, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting here. But we're going to talk about how you can do this more effectively and very easily and build an archive of stories online. The internet, although it can be a bit of a distraction, is an absolute wonderful revolution, especially for network marketing. Think about it. The very nature of your business is to connect with people. And in the past, it's connecting one-on-one, -on -one, day to day, in their homes, in your businesses, wherever you go. And that still, by the way, is the most important way to build your business. However, with the internet, you now have the world at your disposal. You have the world that you can tell a story here and literally broadcast it in any continent, anywhere. So remember our hero early on. Any of you feel like this when it comes to social media? All the different channels, the Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, SlideShare. Here he is in a forest of social media channels and they feel like they're attacking him. He doesn't really know what to do with it. So in the next five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna give you a little bit more of an insight into each channel and how you might use them to plug in to your business. And it begins with building a social media command center, if you will. And we, here we have him at his mission control. And right there in the center, that center screen is his website and or his website and blog if he is writing articles day in and day out about how to motivate distributors and about product and what he's been doing and what forever has meant to him. Everything you see on the side there, the, now the different channels that you use different ways to help publish your blog and publish your world to the world. So let's first take a look at our first channel, and this is Twitter. Twitter we have in the, in the uh, instance of telling a story, the Pied Piper. If you think about Twitter, you have a 140 characters. It's a small little note, like that note that was passed to me earlier today that started my journey, but you have a small note that you can put out to the world and all of your followers, those in your downline and the prospects now that are following you to let them know what you're doing to link to your blog, uh, and tell them where you're going to be. Twitter is also a wonder, wonderful channel that you can be listening in. You can go and listen to what some of the conversations are, especially if, if you're looking at selling more aloe vera gel and what it does for folks. And if you can find what they call a Twitter stream uh, where people are talking about different things, different ailments they may have, and you may have just the answer in the products you sell, you can start reaching out to those folks. So Twitter is great for a short burst of information. It's also a wonderful place just to go and listen and see what people are talking about. Next up is probably the most popular with all of you. This is your international media center, really Facebook, because Facebook allows you to be both the professional side and the personal side. It definitely mixes business with pleasure. You can post videos here, photos here, certainly follow forever on their Facebook. And you can use this, your own page on Facebook, to also share your stories through coming back from the command center. Next up out of Facebook then is the business side, and that's LinkedIn. How many of you use LinkedIn? I see a few hands, but not many. LinkedIn, think about it, is your business professional resume. When I'm using LinkedIn, I share very little personal stuff. It's more about the kind of business person I am, the, build, the, the business I'm trying to build, and it's all about prospecting for more clients or connecting with other like-minded business mind. So I always think of, of Facebook as more the personal, professional, social side where LinkedIn is definitely your business side. So those are the three main channels that I use, and I would like you to look into using for pushing out around the world, pushing your stories out. The next ones I call are utility channels. And by utility, I mean they can still reach the world, certainly, but you use them for specific functions. So the function, for, of course, for YouTube, the most popular, is you can do videos of yourself, motivation. You can shoot your opportunity meetings and put them up. Um, you can do little one-minute greetings, anything you want, and you broadcast, you post in YouTube, and now you have you broadcasting to the world. So this is your broadcast station and you use YouTube to link or embed your video into your blogs. How many of you here use YouTube? Do you, do you have many, many? Great. And how many show of hands do you use it more for recruiting 
or for training. So let's see recruiting first. You see recruiting? Because YouTube is great for both. How about training? Do you do your own training? So that's something to look into because you don't have to be a fabulous videographer or filmmaker. You can put a camera down and they're very inexpensive, shoot yourself on a motivational training piece, post it on YouTube, and share it with the world through, again, your command center at your website or blog. All right, the next utility channel is Flickr. And Flickr is for photo sharing. I love this little image up here because imagine you have an endless wall to put your beautiful photos on. Endless books, photo albums that people can open up for your trip to rally here, for your opportunity meetings back home. Flickr is another utility tool that allows you to archive and post your photos directly into your blog and your and Facebook accounts, and it's a place that you can archive. The final utility tool that I love that I think is really underused, and that's called SlideShare. How many of you are familiar with SlideShare? Not too many. This is something you should really get familiar with. And the reason why, it's a place for you to put your PowerPoint presentations. So when you have developed something or your upline sponsor has, or you want to share some, one of your great presentations downline, you can post them on SlideShare, complete with your speaker notes, so that your presentation can be perfectly duplicatable, meaning your distributors can use it time and time again, and it's an easy way to share with the world. It's also like Flickr and YouTube. You can use SlideShare to embed and link your presentations into your blog, onto Facebook, and so forth. So it's a wonderful way to make your content available the world over. All right, next up. So how do these all work together? We've got our command center, your blog. We use our utility channels, including YouTube, that, that, fades, that feeds directly into your website, and Flickr. SlideShare. And now that we've got this content written within your website and your blog and these tools feeding in, how do you promote it to the world? Well, every time I post a blog, it automatically goes to Flickr and a headline for that blog, or I'm sorry, goes to Twitter and a headline for my blog goes out to the world. So someone knows that, hey, Parks posted a new, uh, uh, it could be an article on marketing, uh, sustainability, and my followers, if they're interested in it, they will see that headline and there'll be a link that they can click and take them directly to my website. You can do the exact same thing with Facebook. So every time I post a blog, it posts on my Facebook account. I don't have to do anything. It automatically links there. So I may have Facebook followers that aren't following me on Twitter, and I have a lot more Twitter followers than Facebook, but this way I'm casting a very, very broad net to make sure that my content is getting in front of the people that want to see it in their own way, on their own channels. I also use LinkedIn the exact same way. So that's my professional business portfolio. Every time I push publish on a blog post, it goes immediate to, immediately to LinkedIn. So I have one way, all I have to do for my command center is focus my attention on what I'm writing about that day. Am I go going to include a video, a photo, or a presentation? I post it, it immediately goes out, I cast my net throughout my social media channels, and all of those following, if they find it interesting, can read the content right there, immediately click through and move on. So that's kind of how we approach it. And it's that something that I've always thought is an underused medium within network marketing because it is the absolute online equivalent to what you already do every day. And that is networking, creating groups, fanning people, getting to know people, linking up with folks. But now you can do it online to help build your, fa your group even faster and truly go global. One last uh, tool that I wanted to bring out uh, is talk about is Skype. Now, Skype is not a mass social media tool like the others are, where you can push one button and it broadcasts to the world. Um, but Skype is that one-on-one -on -one video telephone. Again, with a show of hands, how many of you are already using Skype? Yeah, it's a great tool. And if you're not, definitely look into it. It's uh, pretty much free to use. And we call it the magic carpet because it can put you anywhere in the world one-on-one -on -one with that distributor or that prospect, and you have a chance to have that one-on-one uh, -on -one, um, uh, conversation online. So, where are we? We took our hero. We talked about character arc earlier. We took our hero, and hopefully this has helped you to make some sense out of this crazy world that is social me media in the forest, and now tame it for your own uses. And this is where you could walk them down the road 
and they can help you become that much more productive, and it's really quite easy to do when you take a chance, you know, it, when you sit down and work through it. So I am wanting to conclude with you today uh, two things. I want to say thank you very, very much for being so supportive of allowing me to come out and share our thoughts on storytelling and how to share it. And what I want to do is quickly take you back. You've got your, your books in you, uh, with you, and you can make some notes on this. But let's talk really quickly how the, you tell the story. So we have the nine beats of every story. They start with Act 1, Scene 1. And who is, what do we do in Act 1, Scene 1? What do we talk about? Your hero. Next up, what do we talk about? We want to have the hero do what? What's Scene 2? The goals. What do they want to have happen? Scene 3 is what? The inciting incident. What happens to your hero that turns their world upside down and pushes them on this grand adventure? Scene one, act two, what happens? All the obstacles come out. The boobers, the folks that think you can't do it. The lack of time, lack of energy, everything you have to overcome to achieve. But then what happens? You have someone along your side, be it forever a sponsor, a spouse, a friend that's going to help you make a difference in your life. And now you see success and things are moving along and you think you have it right in your grips, but what happens? We heard it time and time again. It's really what makes a story work. All is lost. It seems like it's slipping away. And that's what takes our hero, makes them dig deep to find out how they're going to overcome that. And our next, the, the first scene of Act 3 is the ultimate success, achieving something greater than they even set out to achieve. Then you want to make sure that next step is to anchor your audience into your story so that they're saying, oh, yes, I can relate. Yes, that happened to me. I know a friend that that happened to. Or maybe most importantly, I want that to happen to me. And, of course, the final step is to invite them into your story. Invite them to start living their own epic journey, and you can be their sidekick to help them along the path. So we mentioned how you tell a story is important, where you tell a story. If you're not online, I really encourage you to get online one way, shape, or form. Forever makes it very easy. If you want to take it to the next step and start writing your own blog where you're publishing your own content, and then use these different channels from the utility channels that help feed content into your blog to the larger channels of Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn that help you share it with the world very, very easily. It is the revolution for network marketing. And where you're doing it wonderfully one-on-one, -on -one, now's the time to get online and really make a difference in your business. So I hope that's been of help to you today. Did you learn something? I wanted to thank you very much. I absolutely enjoyed it. Told you at the beginning that Park was an expert in this area. Did he do a good job? Thank you. Would you like that presentation? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Okay, so if you really want to convince Park to share his presentation with you, you have to give him a huge cheer and say thank you. So ready? <laughs> thank you.